There is no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside you. Maya Angelou. Week 5 schedule. For this week, you'll be reading chapters 22 to 26 and Tangle Lessons. You'll be providing a reading response as usual and commenting, replying to two classmates. Also, you'll be doing a voice thread on rhetorical strategies or devices. And then the fifth journal entry will be about planning your story slash essay, but basically planning your next writing project. And so, as usual, click on the link, and there is already a voice thread available for you to leave your reading responses for this week. And there is a second voice thread. You can click on the link, and there are two videos within the same voice thread, so you're going to leave two separate comments. And so the prompt down below, number one is for the first video, and then the prompt two is for the second video. And so for the first prompt, definitely you're going to be summarizing principles of storytelling, which is a type of rhetorical strategy. It's a device that is available to you and not just argumentation and thesis statements and so forth. So it's something that you can incorporate and integrate into your first project. And then, um, but then you're also going to be analyzing rhetorically the video itself. So the actual choices made by the, uh, this guy, Charlie Hooper. And then the second video are, is a video about actual rhetorical devices like use of an analogy, simile, metaphor, uh, repetition, and so forth. And so you'll talk about those devices and which you've used and which you've rarely used. And then afterwards, I would like for you to listen to other classmates' responses. I'm curious if everybody's been taught the same rhetorical devices and if everybody is sort of afraid of the same one or hesitant to use the same one or have just never used the same one. So I'm curious what that says about us as writers, if we're all using the same devices. And journal entry five is about planning your next project. And so for this particular project, it's building off of all the journal entries you've done thus far. And our goal is to compose a message where an audience will listen to what we have to say, understand our message, and also care about that message. And so for the first writing project, this is really open-ended. The only criteria is that you we need to learn about your discourse community, learn about you, and learn why this message matters to you and your audience and that will be in 1,250 words. And so it's so you the genre is up to you. So I list here some options and you can propose another option and you'll write about that in your rhetorical plan. And so I have options like writing a letter to a casting director who rejected you, a blog article to maybe female trumpet players who experience microaggressions on a daily basis in their jazz band, or maybe an analytical essay about slang and lingo in your discourse community for linguists at a conference, or a memoir essay to certain readers who would be empowered by your experiences, or perhaps a photo or video essay that captures your ideas and stories through vignettes, or interviewing or storytelling. And so you'll be proposing some ideas that you would like to do for your first project. And again, go back to your old journal entries to help generate topic ideas. So you've already been writing about these topics. And then in addition to proposing your topic and genre, I want you to tell me something about yourself and your writing style. So what types of writing makes you feel comfortable? It's like, for instance, journaling, essay writing, texting, social media posting, research writing. And what types of writing makes you nervous or anxious? So what are your weak areas in your writing? So maybe you're just like, I have no idea how to integrate sources, or you're just not sure about thesis statements, you never really got it, or you learned about ethos, pathos, or logos, and it still doesn't make any sense to you. So I want you to identify something that makes you uncomfortable. And so part of your goal for this project is to find areas in which you excel, but also allow yourself to get a little uncomfortable. So that way we can learn something through this writing project. And this is the agenda for this week and for the sixth week of the semester, you'll be finishing the book. And then also don't forget to complete your progress report at the end of each week. And one final note for the journal entry, we will be doing uh, working on this in Thursday's class. And so 
I have here as the deadline being the 11th, so I believe that's like a Sunday. So, um, so that's fine that you have it done, uh, but we will be talking about the rhetorical plan in Thursday's class. So just kind of keep in mind and make sure you have already completed the rhetorical devices voice thread so you're prepared to write your rhetorical plan. Okay, so enjoy your week. I look forward to reading your work.